What's up, everybody? This is DJ RTC at RubyHornet.com, and uh, we're out in beautiful Austin, Texas. And we're joined by Jay Cole. I'm great, man, and you know, in the nice nature, nice weather. It's good to get out of the freeze in New York for a second. You've been traveling a lot lately yeah. as, as things kind of progress. How does it feel now compared to where you were a year ago? Now I was dreaming about a deal at the age of 13 I was feeding for the meals, I ain't talking Burger King Some of my niggas in the veil, all they did was surfing Fuck scales, I had skills all day rehearsing And where you going, nigga? Shit, let's go Thank you, man, you Thank you for your time, no, man. no questions that everybody else asked me <laughs> that's, that's my plan Yeah, that shit definitely, from, a, from the artist side It definitely, like, is it's refreshing, it's appreciated A year ago, I was a month into the deal um, so still kind of just excited, but it wasn't moving nowhere as fast as how it's moving now. Um, you know, shows every week, studio, you know, every day. Um, so I'm just taking it like one day at a time and trying to soak everything up and not take it for granted. And we were talking a little bit, a little bit earlier off camera, just about how you've noticed kind of the, the vibe or the feelers change regarding you and when you first came out it was kind of like let's see what the hype is about I don't know and now it seems like people have been able to embrace you from the inside looking out why why do you think that is how have you seen yourself kind of get better to, to capture these opportunities as they come well like you said like um, the people who are looking at it from a standpoint are like oh this is Jay's artist I heard Jay has a new artist who is it you're either gonna get the people that are gonna be like oh Jay got a new artist he must be ill or you're gonna get people that's like oh Jay got a new artist let me see what he's talking about. And those are the people that I had to like, I think over the past year, I had to kind of make believers. And I think the way I did that was just being consistent and not really over saturating my name before I even get a chance to put out my first single. So I just put out, a, I think a, a quality, super duper quality mixtape, which was like album quality, I think, in the way it was structured. And then I think they saw, once they listened, they saw like the type of artist that I was and that I did care about lyrics and I cared about concepts and storytelling and a lot of things that I think are kind of missing um, and haven't been done in a while and that's how I think I won those type of people over so far. When you are giving out a mixtape for a free download and free consumption I think is a, you get a certain relationship with the fans. Have you thought at all about now it's almost you're taking your relationship with fans maybe a little bit more serious and this is a, an album that you want, you, that you want them to, to purchase and, and grow with you, you know? Like almost like the mixtape in this day and age is like almost uh, the peace treaty. Like, you know, how you doing? It's nice to meet you. I'm J. Cole. You are the potential fan. Like here's this free piece of body of work that I'm putting out in hopes that you like it and maybe when I do put out a real piece of work, like you'll go purchase it, like you'll become a consumer of my music. Cause you're a consumer, cause you're consuming it, but maybe you'll go pay for it. And I think I did a good job of like, here you go, here's 21 songs and some features here and there. But for the most part, I think it's an unspoken understanding that when my album drops, you're gonna get a higher piece of quality of work and you're gonna go pay for it, hopefully, if you know, if you like me. Speaking of, uh, you were on the, the XXL, part of the, the freshman class and, uh, Double O said something to me that was interesting in that he feels that a lot of the young the young artists are kind of all put into the same pot, like they're almost interchangeable. And it seems like there needs to be a balance between relating to everyone else, but really distinguishing yourself. How do you do that, that balance work with your peers, but then you know, kind of people above? You have to know your worth and know your quality and know your brand. So there might be an artist out there that, um, that might ask me for a feature, but I can't, or well, there's a ton of artists that ask me, but I can't do every feature, even though I like the person, I like him as a person, even as an artist, I think he's dope. But branding wise, I don't want my name spread out too thin, and I think um, maybe that's that's how I, I accomplish it, is because I, I'm pick and chose the right ones to do, I think, and, and limited it, so I'm not like just wearing myself thin. Lastly, man, I read a quote from you I think it might have been during the summer or fall, and someone asked you about. I think you were invited to like a Diddy party, and you were like, "I'm not like there yet." You know, yeah. I mean, you were there in terms of like people want to meet you, but like I'm not really ready for that. I, I'll be ready for that later. Like yeah. I always thought that was really interesting, and wanted to, to ask you what what brought that on. And even now, do you feel like you're getting ready now for that? Right. Okay. So what happened was, um, just to clarify the story, it was like, just basically, I had met Puff. Um, or whatever, he wanted to meet me. I guess he had got wind of the music. So we had kicked it for uh, maybe a few days in the studio. 
just vibing, listening to his album. Um, you know, I think it was some big music festival in Jersey or something. And he was just, he just invited me, like, yo, come, you know, come with me on Sunday. And I'm looking at the email at this time, this is months ago, this is like summertime or whatever. So I'm looking at the email like, yo, is this Puff asking me to go somewhere? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking at my bank account and then I'm comparing it to his and then I'm looking like what I've done in the game and I'm like, something didn't seem right. I did hit him back with it, yeah, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. But in my mind, it was like, nah, you know, I even told my mom, like, I'm just not ready for that. Like, that's a whole nother, even though in his eyes, it's just like, yo, I'm, I'm just inviting you. In my eyes, it's something bigger. Like, yo, I'm not on that level yet. You got to give relationships time to grow. Yeah. So I'm not going to, like, uh, invite myself to be on a private plane with Jay before it's time and to, you know, and to go, uh, you know, movie hopping and show hopping with Puff before I feel like it's time. Now, is it almost time? I think it's almost time. You know what I'm saying? But... Back then, it wasn't time. And summing up, lastly, before you go, um, what is the the kind of the pace looking like for you now as, as you get ready? Um, been working on the album, and you're starting to, to do more shows and doing uh, you know, bouncing around. Well, the album is almost done. I've been said that in so many interviews, but now it really, really is because um, like I, I finally recorded. Like I feel like the missing piece um, that I was looking for, and I didn't even know I, I didn't know exactly what I was looking for. But when I did it, I was like, ah, there it goes. So. Um, the album is, is that much faster to being completed. It looks like it'll be a definite summertime release if everything goes well. I just want to, you know, keep on the same path that I've, I've been. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my, my pace has been right. And I just don't want to, you know, break my stride or, or speed up too quick or, or slow down too much. I just want to keep it right here. Yeah, look, ain't that about a bitch This nigga on his own dick They say I'm like the human body I produce my own shit And I toot my own horn A star when I was born My name ain't James My word is Vaughn Yeah, set out the cannabis Had a similar line 98, 99 Damn, there was the times Never mind dwelling in the past You're listening to the future The flows get tighter Them hoes get looser